All right, today we're gonna do the uh, Turnify Shrimp. It's a uh, EP pattern. We're gonna do ours a little different. We're gonna add some legs and use a different hook. Uh, we're gonna use this Gamagatsu C14S size two. It's a little bit wider gap hook, a little bit stronger hook uh, in case you're running into some trigger fish, as opposed to, I think, uh, EP uses the SL45 bonefish hook, which is a little bit lighter hook. Uh, I like this though, just cause I like to have that nice presentation on trigger fish and then uh, it holds up, you know, just in case you get around like mangrove sheets or something like that, it's not gonna bend out on you. So we're gonna start with our pink thread and just go a couple wraps behind the uh, eyes here. Do about eight wraps behind the eyes, try to always get the eyes right in about the same position. Um, this number two of uh, the C14S is it's about the biggest I go. Um, I'd say I, I go down to about a size six, which on a, on a regular shank hook probably equates to like a number eight or number uh, 10. Uh, this is a pattern you want to tie it small typically and you want to tie it light. Uh, so we're going to put these small black bee chain eyes on here. Uh, this is about the heaviest eyes I would go on this pattern as well. Typically you want to use either very, very small bee chain or you want to go with uh, mono eyes. Like if I was going to tie with the size 6 uh, C14S, I would go with mono eyes on this. This is a pattern you're typically fishing in under a foot of water and um, you're trying to be as stealthy as possible. So next thing we're going to do, we're just going to build a little uh, thread taper here on the back of the fly that our uh, dubbing can go on in just a little bit. So we'll just tie down a little ways, then tie back over it until we get to the point that we want. We're going to tie down the, uh, the bend of this hook a little bit here. Alright, so next material uh, that we're going to use is Crystal Flash. This happens to be a, uh, a tan Crystal Flash. You could use pink, you could use pearl, whatever you want, really. Uh, the color of the Crystal Flash isn't going to make too much of a difference on this fly. So we're just going to go ahead, we're going to go out two or three strands of Crystal Flash. Out. Just cut it, make our uh, tips even here. We're going to start it right behind the eyes and then we're just going to wrap all the way back on our body. And this is just going to be used to make uh, some segments in the uh, dubbed body. Let's go a little bit further down on the hook shank on this. Perfect. And we'll get this out of the way. All right. So to dub the body, we're going to use this uh, EP Shrimp Dub. It's in uh, Shrimp Pink. And you don't need very much of this at all. You actually want this to be a very lightly dubbed body. You want to almost be able to just see your thread through the dubbing when you put this on. Again, this is just a very small, very light pattern. but very, very effective in places like Turnify Atoll, hence the name Turnify Shrimp, where you're fishing a lot of times, you're gonna be fishing for very small bonefish. Typically, I think the biggest bonefish I, I've ever seen on Turnify Atoll was maybe five or six pounds, uh, but the majority of the bonefish you're gonna be throwing to are gonna be like one to two pounds. Perfect for if, if you wanna target them with a five or six weight, but they're going to be in very shallow water and they can be very, very spooky. So adding too much weight or making too big of a splash with your fly is not going to be ideal for you. So we'll get our dubbing on there and then we will take our crystal flash and we're just going to wrap our crystal flash to make little segments 
in the body going forward. You get about three or four segments and you just tie off on the front. Cut out our crystal flash. So now we're gonna get our little loon brush here and we're just gonna kind of brush out some of the fibers on our body, kind of give it that little buggy, leggy look to it. Just don't pull too hard because you don't want to break the crystal flash, but you just want to get enough so that you can get those legs or get that dubbing to kind of get that little leggy look out of there. So just kind of kind of work it in there. Just so you get some of those fibers out of there and showing for you. All right, that should be fine. Now we're gonna take our thread. We're gonna work our thread up to the eye of the hook. Now we're gonna add our legs. Now the original Turnify shrimp doesn't have legs, but I always like to add legs. Just add a little bit more movement to the fly. A little something something to attract the fish. These are the uh, Chacon uh, micro legs, uh, they're micro crusher legs, and they're just barred pink. We'll just get two legs, start them right here at the eye, wrap right over them. Stop before you get all the way to the back, just kind of split the legs, pull back and down on them, and then finish tying back up on them. That'll make it so that your legs kind of split to each side. Now I want the legs to be about two lengths behind the shank of the hook. You don't want to make them too long or else bonefish will just grab the uh, the legs and not the actual fly. So, and the last material we're going to get is this is a EP Foxy brush in pink. And this is going to be used to make our wing. So, let me actually cut out a little piece that I used here earlier just to get it out of the way. All right. Now all we're going to do is just take our foxy brush, fold both sides of the brush onto one side, and then just kind of move it so that it's a little tapered section like so. And then we're just going to cut it right off of the, uh, the wire. Be careful not to cut your scissors on the wire or else you'll ruin your scissors. And we'll just take out, pick out some of these longer ones that we don't really need. Try to get to a uh, desired length here. Looks good. A little bit behind the hook there. We'll go ahead, we'll make our butt section even. And then we'll tie it down right here on top of the hook shank. Some nice tight wraps. Perfect. All right, and then we just get our whip finish tool and we'll go ahead and whip finish. Try to make just a nice cleaner looking head there. Now you got a couple of fibers sticking out like we do. Just take your lighter and just kind of torch them off there. It also helps the uh, the thread. I think it condenses the thread a little bit for you. So. Then we're just going to finish the fly off with some loom flow right on the uh, thread, just to give your fly a little bit of durability. Spread it all the way around there. If a little bit gets in your hook eye, no worries. You can just take your uh, your botkin later and poke it out. We'll do that here in just a second because I can already see there's a little bit in there. So I'll just hit this with the torch real quick. Make sure we get that good and dry. And then we'll just take our botkin if we got a little bit in our eye here and just kind of poke it through. Do it from both sides. Clean it up and good to go. 
And that's it. That's our uh, turnafu shrimp. Great pattern for throwing in uh, really shallow water for uh, bonefish and uh, triggerfish. Uh, obviously great at uh, Turnafi Atoll if you're going to Belize. That's where the uh, fly was named. And uh, yeah, hope you guys liked the fly. Hope you liked the video. If you did, please uh, like and subscribe. Until so, next time, see ya.